guys welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a get ready with me for a 21st birthday surprise party okay today. so I am fresh out of the shower so first things first I'm gonna go in with my skin prep so I'm gonna go in with my toner I've already washed my face while I was in the shower so just put some in my on my hand And just rub it on my skin. Get on my neck. Too. Great. No, my skin isn't feeling so sticky and dry. If you see me looking up, I'm just looking in the mirror. <laughs> That's right in front of you guys. So don't get alarmed. So now I'm going to go in with my eye cream. So I'm doing all of this before I dry my hair and a while before I do my makeup so that the skin products, skincare has enough time to absorb into the skin before I go in with the makeup just so that I can have a smooth clean canvas. Okay great. And now that is done, I go in with my vitamin C serum. So let's just get a few drops of that. I love squirting this, it's so fun. If you would like to see an in-depth video of my skincare, I've got one on my channel for morning and for night skincare routines. So if you'll be interested in that, definitely go have a look. I will link it down in the description below. And then I go in with my Hydra Defense Jelly. So, two squirts, but that was a little bit of a struggle. So let's do that. Then I go in with my cream. I finished my day sunblock cream, so I'm just using this cream just underneath my sunblock just for extra moisture so that I can absorb into the skin. Okay, and for the last skin Okay, step will be my SPF 50 plus SPF is extremely extremely important it's a step that nobody should miss out in their skincare routine this is like my holy grail any sunblock that doesn't break me out I leave those ugly white casts is definitely a must but yeah, sunblock is one of the most important steps in anyone's skincare routine, young or old. It just helps prevent premature skin aging and just protects your skin from the sun, protects against skin cancer and just a whole lot more other things. But it's definitely one of the most important steps in anyone's skincare routine. Okay, so now since the skincare routine is finished, I'm going to go in with my hair oils and my heat spray and then I'm going to blow dry my hair just so that the heat isn't on my makeup because that helps smelt your makeup into your skin and it sinks into your pores which is not good. So I'm just rubbing some of my L'Oreal Alvive Creatine Street hair oil. I don't necessarily enjoy it it's just it's just there and I'm just trying to use it up so no products go to waste however I do enjoy these mini sorbet hair oils it says argan nourishing oil for all hair types for soft and shiny hair oh. so they're almost finished, so I'm really having a tough time getting some oil. 
and my hair is just everywhere so I just really focus it mostly on the ends and the middles of my hair not so much the top because it's already oily enough and sometimes I like to go in with also the sorbet creatine soothing oil also for all hair types my products are almost finished I need to buy more whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much oil. Ah, that was very dangerous. <laughs> okay, again at the bottoms of your hair, just get it in there. Got some of my feet. <laughs> don't worry, my feet are clean. I wash my feet. I don't just let the water and the soap run down to it. I actually do wash it. Now I go in with my heat spray this is very very important as well in anyone's hair routine so since that is done i will likely take my wet brush and just brush the ends of my hair first i just like to do this so that when i'm drying my hair it doesn't go into one big knot because i've got quite thick hair and quite a lot of hair so it tends to get knotty quite quickly. So yeah, I'll just brush my hair out. And then I'll show you my hair dryer now. Okay, that's pretty good. When it's a little bit more drier, when it's damp, not as wet as it is now, I'm going to go in and brush it again and then just blow dry it. It's finished. But this is my hair dryer. It is super cute. I've had this, <laughs> I want to say since I was 13. I'm somewhere around there maybe, maybe a little bit older, but... I got it as, I think it was a Christmas present, but it is just super cute. I really, really like it. The pink is awesome. And it's even got a pink cord. I think my mom bought it for me from Clix many, many years ago. This was all the rage back then. But I like to just blow dry my hair with this nozzle. It just makes it go faster for me. So yeah, I'm going to dry my hair off camera and then I will be seeing you guys just now. Okay. So now that my hair is dry, we're going to move on to makeup. So I'm just going to take these pearl clips of mine and just clip my hair back. No, this is not the final look for my hair. I will be curling it, but I have an in-depth curling routine as well on my channel. So I'm going to link that below in the description box for you guys as well. So now we're going to move on to makeup. So I like to start with my foundation first. So I have two that I really enjoy. So I've got this Revlon 24 hour fresh wear. I can't really remember the exact name for it as the writing came off the, the packaging, but I really do like this. As well as these Bionic Hydro Defense BB Cream. So I've got them in samples. So I think I'm gonna maybe do a mixture of both because I can't really decide which one I wanna go for. So what I like to do is I like to put it on the back of my hand, like that. Oh. Okay, and this is the BB cream. And now I'm going to go with my other foundation, just ever so slightly. And then, where's that brush? I'm going to take this big brush of mine. I'm not very good with brushes for what, um, but... I just use whatever brush I think would be best suited for the products. 
I used to just use my fingers but I actually learned this technique from another YouTuber and since doing this technique I have seen quite a difference in my makeup routine. I don't normally wear lots of makeup, I normally go on a day to day basis with just concealer where I need it and my eyebrows and then a little bit of mascara and then I'm good to go but because today I am going to my first party in a while I decided that it's best for me to put in some effort and you know dress it up look nice because your girl needs that kind of confidence right now. So yeah, so I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a tiny bit, just pretty much on my forehead. And pretty happy with that. Great. Then I go in with my concealer. Let's just grab it quickly. So I really, really do enjoy this concealer. I think it's the May yeah, the Maybelline eraser. Once again, the writing is off the package because I've had this for such a long, long time. So I'll just put it on the spots that really needs it. And my eyes. And the sun is paying up today, so excuse the lighting. But now I'm just going to blend that in. Until I'm happy with the look. And my concealer is a little bit lighter than my foundation just to bring in some extra dimension into the, my skin into the face so that I don't look completely flat okay and I'm quite happy with that so now I'm gonna take my beauty blender as well as my shimmer spray it's a finishing spray for face and body so I'm just going to shake it up and it's rose gold. It's from LA Gold. I really do like it. So I'm going to spritz my beauty blender and just dab it onto my face. I also put foundation on my ears and down on my neck just so that it blends in nicer. Okay, so that's pretty much now done. So now I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. So, uh, let me just get my eyebrow things quickly. Okay, so I'm going to take my eyebrow brush and just brush them out. I do like to use this pencil, however, it is not sharpened and I'm really struggling to sharpen it. It just doesn't want to sharpen, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I am using this Essence Eyebrow Gel, eyebrow gel sorry. <laughs> so I'm using this in 01 Brown. And then I'm taking this angled brush and just ever so slightly filling in my eyebrows this one that I'm busy working with right now is a lot thinner than the other eyebrows so I just need to fill that in and make it thicker I am thinking of getting my eyebrows microbladed but I'm on the fence about it. One day I really want to do it and the next day I don't. But 
we'll see what I decide to do in the future. So it looks pretty good from where I'm sitting. So now I'm just gonna brush that out. Yeah, I look pretty happy with that. Oop. Pretty happy with that. So now I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow. This is LA Girl Nudes Eyebrow Collection. Um, yo. Okay. I think I'm gonna go in with either this color right here, this one, or this one. Let's see. Um, let's go with the lighter one first. I'm not very good at doing eyeshadow and all of those crazy things, but I'm just winging it right now. Yeah, for me that looks that looks good. <laughs> like I said, I don't really like too much makeup and over the top things. So now I'm gonna take oh mascara. So I'm gonna use the Essence Get Big lashes and just put it on my lashes. Great. I don't do contouring or anything like that, so I just feel like I don't need it. And I think I'd be extremely horrible at it. But anyways, now I'm going in with my highlighter. The whole, it's so old that the lid broke. Okay, so just on some points of my face. Not much of a highlight person either. So now I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is. A, it's actually a liquid um, lip gloss, but the lady who sold it to me said that you can use it for your cheeks as well as for your eyes, for eyeshadow, and I just really love it for my cheeks. I think it's so pretty, and it glosses, and it's got some glitter, and I just love glitter. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. It's from Nano Coco. Never really heard of the brand before, but I got it when I was at a market. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty much the makeup. Now I just need to decide which lip color I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go with this Revlon color. Or with this essence color. I think I'm going to go for the Revlon one. I also don't like to use lip liners or anything like that because I feel like my lips are pretty full as it is. And that's that for my makeup. I'm pretty happy about it looks very natural to me which is what I like so now I'm busy well I'm going to pull my hair just waiting for the hair curler to warm up but I'm gonna do this off camera as I do have a dedicated video just for my hair curling routine so I'll leave that down in the description box below. So I'll see you guys just now. Okay, so now that my hair is done, I wanted it to be a little bit more looser and not so tight. But I'm happy with my hair. So now we're going to the finishing touches. So I've already got these two rings on. So I'm going to add... 
this ring still and this ring so I'm gonna add this ring here and there so now I've got two rings so these rings <laughs> are really really tough to get off can't seem to take it off but anyways so now I've got quite a few earrings that I recently got so I've got these two gorgeous ones all the earrings are from La Visa. so I've got those then I've got these two beautiful ones. I don't know if you guys can see it. These ones. Then I think these ones are pretty, pretty interesting. So they just pink little glitter ones. Then I've got these gorgeous ones. And these ones. But I don't really know how to show you guys. And then also, where's the watch? Oh, this watch here. So I'm just going to add these finishing details. I'm going to add some earrings into the second hole it's not easy to work with these nails I'm still not used to them okay oh. <gasps> oh. so just putting these in the second piercing hole. I'm gonna go for my third. Hopefully for my birthday I can get it done. But I just love piercings. Look at how pretty that is. So eventually I would like a lot more ear piercings but um, we shall see because these ones I got last year October and I'm still having difficulties with them especially this side this side likes to pass a lot and um, just <laughs> get sore and red and irritated and sorry for the background noise oh I just lost my butterfly this is a complete disaster it's just because I don't know how to use these nails because ah. I normally have very short nails and this is taking so, so much longer. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for these earrings today. I haven't worn these before, so I'm pretty excited. I'm starting to get into jewelry lately. I've got lots of jewelry, but I don't wear them, but I don't know, lately I want to wear earrings and rings. I'm not actually a ring person, but I'm starting to wear them quite often now. I think I'm just going to leave the butterflies out because this is honestly just a big pain in the butt. So I think I'm just going to leave it out. But this is how my earrings look. Absolutely stunning. I would like to eventually get a piercing here and here. I really want one. And then 
maybe one up top here or something but we'll see it's the other side it's really pretty and then I'm just gonna put my watch on and then that's pretty much the final touches and then I will show you guys my outfit in just a few seconds just want to get my watch on it is super difficult to do day to day life with these nails they are so pretty but they are so really difficult especially if you're not used to it there we go now my watch is on. It's also from Levisa. These rings are from Levisa as well. This one, they are from my grand. This one my sister gave to me. <laughs> but yeah, that is now the finishing touches. I'm not gonna wear a necklace as I feel like I have too much jewelry on already. But yeah, that's the finishing touches. And then I'm gonna show you guys my OOTD. And here is my OOTD for today. This really cool jacket, the white top, some white jeans, and black knee high boots with some cool shades. I think it's just super cool. Love the boots, the hair, the top, and the sunnies. I think it looks pretty dope with these earrings. Super cool. Love the boots. If you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see from me next have a beautiful day you guys i'll see you in my next video